Good morning. Um, I was talking with um, a really dear friend of mine yesterday, a sister in Christ that I met over YouTube, and she was telling me uh, that she had to stop watching a couple of the larger channels because they were putting her in fear about events, like warning about events and how Christians are going to have to go through this horrible thing or that horrible thing before the rapture. And, you know, she's got more than enough challenges on her plate and things to worry about. Each day, you know, to have to, have to do that, it was just stealing her peace. Um... And it's a shame because, you know, these are grace channels that teach the correct gospel. But um, they were also, one of them wasn't, but one of them was one of the ones I had in my vision the other night when I said they're untrustworthy, they're singing two different songs, uh, mainly because they were teaching the right gospel but promoting other channels that were backloading works and things like that and sharing videos from, from people that don't have the right Gospels. So, um, well, last night I had a dream that my sister Carolyn, and now Carolyn means a song. It's Joy, Song of Happiness. And she was driving a pickup truck, and I was sitting in the driver's seat beside her, even though she was driving, and it was her truck. And it was dark out and kind of hazardous. We were going home. We were on our way home. I knew that. And Pete, there were some people in front of us that were being kind of careless, and things were coming out of the backs of their uh, trailers and things like that and rolling like big hazardous objects down the road in front of us. And... So the first time something big kind of came in front of our car, I thought, oh, we're going to wreck or there's going to be a big bump or something's going to happen. So I put my arms out stiff in front of me and held on to the, you know, the area in front of me there while it was where the airbag was. I, so I had my hands pressed up against the airbag, my arms out stiff, like bracing myself, right? That's what I was doing. I was bracing myself. And Carolyn looked at me and she goes, don't ever do that don't do that she goes just relax and you know each time she managed to avoid anything bad happening when these objects came at us and this happened three times okay and finally after she got on to me a, the third time <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, because I realized, she goes, when that, she looked at the airbag, I noticed it was an airbag that I was pressing on, and I had known, someone had told me in the past, like, if you brace yourself and make your arms stiff before a wreck, you'll, you'll get bones broken, right, and how is that airbag going to come out and do its job if we did get in an accident and protect me, you know, it, if it, it's going to come out, but it's going to break my arms to do it, your arms represent your your own power and your own strength, okay? And is in the Bible, you know, God God saves us by his right arm, which represents Jesus Christ, his power, his might, and his strength. And we need to let him do his job and trust him. He says he promises he'll make all things work out for the good of those that love him. Um, and he does want us to trust him. And if we try to brace ourselves within our own strength, uh, as his children, he will, he will bring us to the end of ourselves over time. That's part of his loving discipline so that we can learn to trust him and be kept in perfect peace, you know. Psalms 56 3 says oh and what I ended up I don't know if I told you but what did I end up doing after the third time is I went and I sat down in the passenger seat and put my seat belt on and I know that represents the armor of God okay and really I've said this before many times what I learned when I studied each piece of the armor is it's 
it's mostly about, <clears throat> almost entirely about your identity in Christ Jesus and agreeing with him in that and resting in him. <clears throat> Psalms 56.3 says, What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In Isaiah 26.3, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. 1 John 4.18, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment, and he that feareth is not made perfect in love. Philippians 4, 6, and 7, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto God. <clears throat> and the peace of God, which passeth, passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Okay, so that's how we ought to be operating, guys. Um, standing in the truths, in Scripture, um, standing on the gospel, who we are in Christ Jesus, trusting him, keeping our minds stayed on him and our eyes stayed on him, walking by faith and not by sight, letting him do his job to protect us, not trying to uh, brace ourselves in our own strength um, and not trying to incite fear in others and telling them to brace themselves, you know. So anyway, that dream gave me some peace, and I hope it helps you as well, along with these scriptures, and I love you guys. Be blessed.